Okay, so I am going to make a video I haven't made in the past before. Something very rare happened. So I reviewed this Finistech MP3 player pretty recently, like within the past like week or two. And I posted the video up and I got the obligatory, you know, thank you for the video uh, from the manufacturer. But they went a step further. So I had several complaints about the software. I, I noted that I love the hardware that the software was holding it back. And I found a couple of bugs that I noted. So they sent me, you know, hello, thank you. Uh, and they contacted the engineering department, which I've had other manufacturers do before, but usually that's where the story ends. Here, however, it did not end there. Uh, they actually fixed some of the issues that I noted and they sent me a file. And yeah, this was pretty quick too. This was like within a week of me uh, completing the video. So the problem that I had with the volume, like um, if you were to shut off the screen and change the volume, it would shoot all the way up or down. It says that they, during testing, they were able to replicate the problem and fix it. And I just listened to this player for about an hour on the new firmware. And yeah, I haven't been able to recreate that issue since. So their fix is working, which is fantastic. That was a really annoying problem. And additionally, with the uh, play mode not being saved, uh, they fixed that. And I've gone through and I manually kept changing the tracks that I was listening to. And I'm able to, um, to say that they did indeed fix that problem. It remembers your play mode uh, no matter what. You know, if you turn off the player, you turn it back on, you change um, tracks, you open a new playlist, it'll, it'll now persist. So that's awesome. The, uh, information missing on the playback screen where it would only display the song title. Now it'll display your, um, it'll display basically your song title, and then it'll scroll to display, uh, the artist and then the album. So I would have preferred if it could all displayed on one screen, but honestly, this is good enough for me. Yeah, there you go. So here's the track title. And if you wait a little bit, this is the artist. Wait a little bit, the album. So it, it just scrolls between the three. I would have wished that maybe they could have all three printed in a row. But the fact that it now displays anything just besides the track title is an improvement. And uh, let's see. The last one that they were able to fix was the volume indicator. When I noted, it took forever. If you change the volume, for instance, I'll change it to about 17 here. And it took way longer than that. That was here, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. So just under three seconds, it looks like. Before it was on there for like a good, I don't know, like eight seconds or something ridiculous. So that is also a huge improvement. I'm, I'm happy with that. So the zip file that they've attached, I'll include a link of it in the video description. So if you have this model, you can update yours. And what you do is you unzip that. It'll There'll be like a bin file in there. And you copy that directly to the root directory of the player. And uh, once you turn it back on, you have to go into settings. Here, I'll, I'll show you real quick. So yeah, you go into settings. And then go all the way to the bottom and then automatic upgrade. And when you click that, I'm not going to click that now because I'm not, I don't want to upgrade it, but um, it'll scan. And if it finds a file, it'll say the firmware version and you just click the play button. And then uh, here's a screenshot of it updating. And so, yeah, it was able to uh, update and then you reboot it and then it's on the new version. Long ramble aside, that's, that's really awesome. Uh, it's unfortunately kind of rare to find manufacturers who are willing to stand behind their product and constructively take criticism like this. Like I said, some things that, you know, I could understand wouldn't really be taken very nicely, uh, but they were able to take that feedback and make their product better. And the fact that they're willing to do that and they did it without fuss, they did it very quickly. In fact, I, I was actually surprised uh, four of those those things that I just checked off. Um, they had their engineers fix them probably within like a day or two, test it and then resend it to me like less than a couple days after I posted the video. That's, that is fantastic. So huge, huge thanks for them. 
So yeah, I'll put links to this player in this video as well. So if you want to get an MP3 player where, you know, the manufacturer actually updates it and fixes bugs and you can report bugs and they'll actually listen. Whew, what a world we live in. Uh, <laughs> definitely, definitely highly recommend Finis Tech. They rose well above my expectations and I'm very happy that that um, that they're so willing to listen to their, their customers. So anyway, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this really quick video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.